ndugu yetu Kalonzo hata yeye pia atusaidie kuingine upande mwingine kuleta amani kuleta inchi pamoja kufungua biashara za wakenya inchi za nje kuna shida hapo jameni just a few days after president uhuru kenyatta hinted at giving wiper leader kalonzo musyoka a job as part of the building bridges initiative to achieve inclusivity the former vice president has been appointed to head the joint monitoring and evaluation commission on peace in south sudan on his first assignment Kalonzo accompanied the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma to Juba to deliver President Uhuru Kenyatta's congratulatory message to South Sudan President Salva Kiir for implementing the South Sudan Peace Agreement. President Kiir entered into a deal with the rebel leader Riek Machar to end years of bloody conflict. During his father's burial Kalonzo had openly talked about his intention to work with President Kenyatta. Nitakuwa mtu wa mkono wa uhuru kuanzia sasa. <laughs> Na mtu aziniuliza maswali. Ukeniuliza utaniona, utajua mimi ni mangaa kama baba yangu. Kalonzo's new relationship with the president seems to have brought him more good tidings. Just a few days ago, Kalonzo's security detail was restored at his three homes. This comes several months after his security team was withdrawn during last year's heated presidential election as NASA engaged Statehouse in a bait knuckled political fight. Statehouse has not yet confirmed his appointment, but sources close to Kalonzo have confirmed to NTV that the government had forwarded his name to the Intergovernmental Authority for Development (IGAD) for approval. JMEC, the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission overseeing implementation of the deal, was established by IGAD and has been overseeing the peace process in South Sudan since 2013, specifically the peace deal signed between Kiir and Machar in 2015. Vincent Odur, NTV.